What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a handheld fireball in Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So right now I'm going to show you what this will look like. So, you see here, nothing here but we can just go BOOM! See this fireball right here? Get this hand going. We've got another one. <sighs> Let's find out how to do this. Now you can see on the screen there was like a circle around the fireball. Now the reason for that is because the fireball effect I got, or the fireball, yeah the fireball effect I got, it came out like that, I'm not too sure why, but of course you can find a better one. So I'll show you how I done this. Okay, so as you can see, I got my clip right here. I'm just going to go ahead and set it up to the part where I actually do everything, which is from here. And I'm just going to remove the audio because we don't need it. And here we go. So we've got the main clip right here where the fireball is going to happen like that. Now, what you want to do is go here. This will be downloaded in the description where you can go ahead and download this fireball effect. Go ahead and drag it on top of the video like that. Now, there's going to be no sound with it, as you can see. So press U and delete and delete this track right here. Now you can see there's nothing here. What you'll do is go here and change it to add. Now there's actually a glass effect on top of it but you can't see it right now and the reason for that is because it's currently covering the full screen. But we want to shrink it down so then it covers only the section we want it to uh, have the fireball on. So just go forward one keyframe by using the arrows that you can see until you see the fire so I can start seeing it there. Now you want to go here and just shrink it down. So go make sure these two are checked and then just go ahead and shrink it down like that and you can see now the glass effect is coming up. Now I'll show you how to get it more into a circle in a minute. So you want to go ahead and just position it in the right position. So go to the part where your hand actually does something. So boom, okay. Now just go ahead take your time with this. I'm going to make it a bit quicker because it's just the tutorial part and I don't really want to spend much time on the tutorial. So you can see it works like that. Now as it's going up, we want it, well as my hand's going up, we want it to go up with it. So click this again right here. Now you want to make sure this is checked. What this does, as soon as you move this, it will move the video too. So you can also be able to make the keyframes. So we're currently here and as you can see we're going to move it and as the hand moves up, Oh, it moved it a bit too far. As the hand moves up, we're going to move this up too. So we can move, use the arrow. So you can click on it and then use the arrows. So again, I'm doing this pretty quick just to save a bit of time. And I'm only going to demonstrate the one hand here just to save some time. But once I show you the one hand, it's going to be pretty straightforward how I actually do it. Yeah, there we go. So that is the one hand done like that. And I'll get to the part where I blow it out too. So right now, what I do, I use the arrow keys here, so I click down here and use left or right and you can see it moves the keyframe. And then once the hand moves, I click up here once and I just change the position of where this is. And it's pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to get to the part where I blow it out, which is right there. So again, there we go. So that is now blown out and it's blown out right there. So what I can do is just go ahead and shorten the clip like that. So now we can go ahead and play through and see what we've done. Now there's going to be no sound obviously because I've removed the sound but we can just go boom. And there you go, you can see I've actually done it probably better than I actually done it in the first place. And yeah, the other fireball would be there, it's pretty straightforward what you've got to do. Now to get rid of like most of this background you can see here, go to the event pattern crop. Now we can't get rid of all of it but we can put it into a circle which is basically going to be good enough. So you want to go here, click mask. You want to choose the oval tool, hold shift, and drag out like this. Now, drag it out like that, and then just position it to the part where the fireball will be. So it might probably be there. Now we can go ahead and play through, check if it's in the right place. Yes, it is. Nice and simple like that. And that is how simple it is. That is how I've done it. It doesn't take much time, as you can see. Now, actually, how I blew it out at the end, it was pretty simple. I just blew it out. And then I add a fade out like that. So we just go like that. So again, just shorten the clip down. So we'll see. 
we blow out the clip, well blow out the fire like that and it's really simple, one more time so we just add a fade and you can see I recommend a 0.10 second fade time because that fade time actually looks pretty good you can see that looks pretty good I admit on the video I showed you the demonstration the fade time was probably a bit too long so yeah I recommend 0.10 seconds because you can see it does look really nice and again it's just a bunch of keyframes you're putting together to make this effect is really simple now of course you want to add some sound to it now I'm gonna hit you up with some sound too you can see right here we got fire sound effects I downloaded this off YouTube but again I'm gonna put this in the comments or in the description where you can go ahead and download it and yeah it's pretty simple this is the fire effect or the sound effect now this is where the fire starts right here so what you do go to the start of this clip drag it right there so now we just gotta check if it's in the right place like that now, I'm not sure if there's going to be sound for you, I'm not sure if I'll put it on the recording, but there is sound. And that is what you have to do. So, at the start of the clip, of the fire clip, that is where you want to put the start of the sound. This will give you the best effect, and it does look pretty good. It's that simple. So, I'm going to go ahead and render what I've just done, and you can go ahead and watch it. So hopefully it was what you guys were looking for, and I really hope you have enjoyed it. It's a really simple thing to do, it just requires some time, depending how good you really want to make it. It can take some time. Now obviously you do want to make it good, so make sure you do take time when doing this effect, because as you can see, if you do mess up, it will get seen very easily. So again, download links to the sound, and the fireball effect will be in the description. And again, this works for, I think it literally works for any Tony Vegas, from... 8 plus so if you're on Tony Vegas Pro 8 above that it'll work and it's that simple so yeah thank you so much for watching be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page I suppose gaming news and technology news daily also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I'll post daily check out my FIFA channel where I'll post daily and finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day so yeah it's been Casual Savage here thank you so much for watching I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I really hope it's helped you please subscribe rate and peace